Yo guys, so I uh, just finished modding uh, this GTX card. Um, I bought it for really cheap, for 35 bucks. It's 970 uh, Strix and it was literally new, so the, it was never opened before. So I opened it and changed uh, thermal paste and so on. And then I decided, because um, I have other, another card in my PC, that I will mod this card to make it even cooler because um, it was already uh, really cool but it doesn't have any uh, reworm cooling which is really bad and the reworm went up to 95 degrees and now reworm can go up to like 105 degrees but for um, the overall um, life expectation uh, the life like life <laughs> I don't know how to say it the, um, the years of life that the card has it's definitely not a good thing so I decided that I will make a copper mod and a backplate mod, mod and yeah I just do what I can do and I will show you pictures now And yes, that's how I did it. Um, it took me way longer than I expected. I polished all the copper plates um, and it was a real struggle to install everything correctly and precisely and to make everything fit because there are no measurements I had before. And so everything is now cooled. I put um, what is called uh, liquid metal on the GPU and connected all um, the back sides of the VRAM and the CPU die with the back plate. So you can see it here. You just uh, see them through, that's uh, thermal pads. And yeah, I'm really curious. I also connected this copper plate here to the um, heat uh, to the, um, uh, is it a heat sink? No, it's, uh, um, what is it called? <laughs> a heat pipe, yes because um, now the heat pipe is also connected to the shroud uh, because the shroud is fully metal so I use it as cooling too which is really nice and I connected uh, the back plate here you can see it with the um, now come make a job please uh, with the whole cooler I will add um, another thermal pad because it's just barely covered but yeah I uh, connected it to the back plate so I have a lot more cooling going on and yeah we will see how hot this thing will get I hope not really hot it should be really really cool now and it should overclock like hell so let's see so that's a set of Corsa on max settings at full HD and we have really high clocks like you can see I hope you see it like yeah, 1528 MHz on the core and 4037 uh, on the memory, which is extremely high. The highest overclock I have ever seen on an air-cooled GTX 970. That's really cool. Okay, let's, and it's really, really cool. Like, uh, like 65% fan speed and only 55 degrees is epic. So let's make a fire. Yeah, and let's see the fire mark results. I will show you pictures of it. It, um, yeah, it runs really, really well. Yes, so those are really good results. Um, I looked it up and I already uh, beat someone in the um, Hall of Fame. It was a uh, place 72 and I have a higher GPU clock, um, a GPU score than he has. Of course, the other score is um, a lower, the combined score, because I have a bad CPU. But well, if you take a look alone on the GPU, I'm around, yeah, place 72. Or I beat the place 72 in the Hall of Fame of Firestrike, which is epic. Because, I mean, I just use a stock cooler 
a stock Strix card, which is not a really go over a good overclocker card to begin with, because it only has one 8-pin connector and other cards, other custom designs have one 8-pin and one 6-pin, so I'm really limited um, when it comes to the power draw. And yeah, of course, all the Hall of Fame cards can be um, yeah, better custom designs. It can also be um, uh, water-cooled cards, which mostly of them are, I assume. Um, and also the liquid nitro, uh, nitro uh, was, was it ni nitrogen? I don't know, the, the liquid, um, the dry ice and so on cards are also in this um, Hall of Fame. So I'm happy with this result. And overall uh, combined score got me into the top 11% of all scores. And yeah, next time I will definitely get a better CPU and overclock it higher. And then we will see where I land. Maybe I land in the top 100. That's my goal. So I hope you liked it. Um, if you like it, leave a comment and like. I will definitely do more um, card mods like this. I have a 980 Ti here um, in the back. Yeah, well, sorry, it's really, really messy here because I'm working here. Um, I already made a little mod, like change a couple things, but not, 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 not enough yet. I just want to try it like this. Yeah, next time I guess I will make a video on this card. And of course other cards I plan in the future to do um, such a mod on the 3060 Ti. And yeah, leave a like and a comment and say which card I should mod if I te should test something. Um, if you need help with modding your card, write me a comment, maybe I can help you. And yeah, enjoy and have a nice day and see you later.